All right, everybody. So here we have some minnows that are in a relatively undisturbed state. Um, nothing much has been happening. I've uh, kind of turned off the lights and been sitting really quietly next to them here for, I don't know, probably 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and they're doing what I would describe as vibing behavior and some other behaviors too. This behavior that we see where they're kind of going up and down the sides of the tank is also sort of a little different. And um, they're just generally, they, they haven't been disturbed for a while. And this is kind of what their, what their state is like when they're, when they're feeling that way. But I'm about to disturb them. So what I'm gonna to try to imitate is an attack. Um, if they were in their natural environment and getting attacked by a predator, they would see and feel the predator coming at them. Um, no, I'm not trying to actually hurt any of the minnows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a ruler and I'm gonna stab it in the tank, um, kind of in their direction, but my goal is not to actually hit any of them. Um, you're gonna see some immediate changes to their behavior as they sense and experience this disturbance in their environment. And those are gonna be group behaviors that they're gonna use in order to, um, to avoid that predator. Think back to the behaviors we saw at the beginning of the group behaviors of some of those ocean going fish. All right, so here is that disturbance. And you wanna watch carefully or replay this several times so you can record what they do in the minutes or minute or so following or immediately while it's happening and then in the minute or so following an attack. All the minnows have kind of clumped up in the same spot. They are in the same corner that they were before, but their behaviors are quite different. I'm noticing changes to how close together they are. I'm noticing changes in how they, they face. A lot more of them tend to, looks like kind of going in the same direction. And as we watch here and we get farther and farther away from the disturbance, um, the behaviors will, will continue to change. And um, we're gonna watch here for another 30 seconds or so, but then I'm gonna turn this video off and I'll come back a couple minutes from now and you can see where they're at after you know, after a disturbance, but after it's been a couple minutes. But even within these, this minute or so here, you'll notice changes to their behavior. All right, that's some disturbance behavior.